going to hand the scissors to Jason and ask him to perform the opening ceremony. Are these sharks? <laughs> 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 since I was last down here. I came here 30 years ago. So that just shows how, how old I am, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but I used to live in Lixwick Flats, just over the road. And I used to come down here and just go, like you guys, just hang around and play games. And I used to play rugby as well. This was my first rugby club. So at, uh, I think I've got a picture of me being the under 11s captain. So I then went on from there and I met so many good people here. And then I went on from there to be a professional player. And, uh, and here I am today. So it's nice to be back. It's nice to see all the work that's been done. There's been a lot of people around here that have worked tirelessly over the years. I think quite often when you see um, clubs, they seem to go downhill. But I think what's kept this place going for a long, long time and for years to come is some very dedicated people. So, uh, yeah, yeah. thank you um, for the encouragement that I had when I came here. Because I suppose being around here and being in the flats, I thought, oh, well, I'm never going to do anything in life. I'm never going to be a professional player. But thankfully, this is where it all started for me. And as I say, I've been able to play in lots of different games, World Cup finals. I've been all over the world. Uh, and I've enjoyed tea with the Queen quite a few times as well. So, uh, but it's been fantastic. Thank you for inviting me. Um, it certainly won't be uh, a long time before I'm back. Hopefully, we can uh, do a little bit more going forward. I think what's what's done not just with the facilities, but the programmes that've been run, I think are fantastic. And I think for for young um, girls and boys, it does it does give you hope. It gives you a focus, and uh, I'm sure. Um, that these guys will, will come to enjoy the facilities um, you know, for years and years to come. So thank you very much for the invite. Um, it's fantastic what you are doing and long may it continue. Thank you. Are you as nervous as me doing this interview? <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah. Okay. So you've got uh, something to ask me, have you? Okay, far away. Why did you start attending and what did you do here? Right, why do I... Well, I started attending over 30 years ago. And I used to live at a place called Leach Street Flats, which was just about 50 metres that way. So this used to be a place where we used to come just like you guys in the evening and just... Um, either play in the space and bed or go to the shop and get something to eat, run around in here. But I started playing uh, rugby here. So this was my first amateur club to play rugby. So I can remember I'm on a photo here under 11s um, as the captain of the under 11s team. So yeah, so it's a long time ago. Um, yeah, I started to play rugby. What was the concept of life when you were younger? And did you attend any of the Whilst you were here at the club? Well, the Hunsuk Club, um, I'm coming back now and I remember this hall so much. I'm running about in this hall. Um, there are lots of different things because we didn't have the game zone when I was, when I was here. You didn't have all the, uh, the mechanics workshop and, and all the stuff upstairs and all the pitches outside as well. I didn't, didn't have all those. Um, so it's changed a lot, but I still remember this. This all, I think, is 
um, it's probably always going to stay this way. So anybody that's been here will always remember this this hall. Um, but I, I also, while I was involved with rugby quite a lot, I did do a lot of boxing, but not much. I wasn't really a fighter. Um, I was very fast, but I wasn't a very good fighter. Um, so yeah, just whatever was going on, really. Um, but quite often we'd be in here just running around and chasing each other and swinging off each other's necks. What inspired you to become a professional rugby player? Wow, um, what inspired me? Um, well, I can remember coming down here and, and, and just round about that spot, um, we had a presentation and Gary Schofield, who used to play for, for Leeds, and he, he was doing the presentation. So as a, as a young player, you always want to uh, you know, be a professional. You think, oh, if I can only be a professional. And somehow you never think it's going to happen to you. But Thankfully, I did keep coming down, and I was here for, for a few years uh, once at club, and then I moved on to uh, another club, also at Parkside. And thankfully, at the age of 16, there was a scout who worked for Wigan, and uh, he he wanted to sign me for Wigan. Now, I was from Leeds, so I really wanted to sign me, um, for Leeds, but. They didn't want me, it didn't work out that way. So I moved over to Wigan and uh, I was full time in 1991. So uh, so I think I just I just loved rugby. I used to just like the physical side of rugby and also working together as a team. What do you think of our club now? Well, I think it's fantastic. I think coming here and just pulling up in the car park and seeing so many kids still involved. I think it was really pleasing for me. And then to come in and see some old faces, to see people who were, who were there when I um, started coming here, I think that just shows how much commitment they've got for the club. And uh, yeah, I think it's just a great place where people can come and either just hang around, see their friends, or go and sing in, do dancing, play sports. Uh, I think there's so much to do here. It's brilliant when you can come up. You know, uh, almost whenever you want. So I think that's really good. I think it's really good for the kids growing up because there's not there's not an awful lot to do, is there? Outside of here, there's you know it's cold, it's miserable outside. I don't know really like outside of this. So I think this is a great place for people to come and uh, just have fun. Uh, is that your questions? Well, thank you for the questions. Some really good questions there. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Nice to meet you. Okay.